the immediacy of the New Testament stories as they were perceived in Byzantium. The, the New Testament Greek is fairly simple. It's very direct. The narratives are not difficult to follow. And because they were very quickly represented in scenes that illustrated the miracles and the uh, last week of Christ's holy life, and of course the conception and the whole notion of the role of the Virgin uh, Mary became very clear to people in the East. And I think those who lived in other parts of the world where Christianity was, uh, uh, which ar arrived in a language that was difficult to understand, lacked that immediacy, that sense of contact and communication and immediate reaction. And of course, if you also add then the fact that the theology was encapsulated in images, which were deeply revered as representations of gospel truth, then you can see how people began to relate very closely to individual figures. Saints, particularly, for example, people who were named Stephanos. Obviously, your Saint Stephen is going to be your patron saint, and you're going to have a direct relationship with that saint. And indeed, I think women frequently felt that they had a, a role to play in their identification with Maria, the Holy Mother, they also experienced motherhood. All these things became very much clearer to them. And therefore their interest in theology, in whether the Holy Spirit could have descended from heaven in the form of a dove and impregnated the Virgin through the ear. All these things became more real and possible than they, could, than they were perhaps in other contexts for other peoples. So the notion that one could read, not necessarily that anybody could read, they could see the gospels illustrated. We're talking about a vast, a vast majority of illiterate people, 80% of society. And of course the 20% is largely male. So here we're dealing primarily with a lot of uneducated women who nonetheless have an identity which they feel can be represented through Christian figures. And I think that's a very significant element in their interest in theology, in their interest in the di discussions that took place over the role of icons, over the question of the wording of the creed, over issues which were gobbledygook to people in the Latin West who were similarly uneducated and didn't understand Latin and didn't know what they were signing up for when they converted to Christianity. So there's a much deeper resonance of Christian belief in the East where this proximity to what's gospel truth is made very clear. And you go to the liturgy, you go to the church on Sundays and feast days, some go more than others, but nonetheless the church is a very important focus in the life of villagers and people in the country, not just in cities. And you understand because the liturgy is responsive that you say hallelujah at this point or you say amen and you are part of that communication with the divine. And that is another way in which, because it's in Greek and it's the language of ordinary people, they can participate in a positive way. So. There are lots of other things which make it much easier for the people we call the Byzantines to have a very direct sense of access to Christian faith, which they express and then they manifest in their practical lives, teaching their children that they have to be generous, that they have to be uh, loving, that they have to uh, respect their elders, admire their their grandparents and their leaders and go to church and dutifully recite what they understand to be the tenets of Christianity. So that's a very important difference, I think, from the experience of people in other cultures.